Hello and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Hot Shot Racing. Now this, as you can probably tell just from the menu screen, is a, well, homage if you like, to the more classic arcade racing as We're talking proper, proper, full-on uh, arcade racing as I love the look of this one. I do like you know, racing games. We played Art of Rally a little while ago. This sort of slightly different art style. And, well, I mean, this one this one nails. This one absolutely nails it. So we're going to load in. We're going to do some single races. We're going to check out a few different circuits. Um, so, let's start off. There are four different areas. We're going to start with the coast. You know what? Let's go here. Uh, we are going to race. Sea View sounds like fun. Uh, there are mirrored layouts for everything. Um, but we're going to go around Sea View. We're going to go for four laps. We're going to go for... Let's go for hard difficulty level, sure, why not? And then we get to pick a driver. Each driver has four different cars that sort of specialise in different aspect vehicles that you are probably going to recognise, shall we say. Uh, I spot an Aston Martin, there's the Bentley LMP car, Jaguar E-Type in there. We've got a Viper, we've got a NASCAR, we've got a Camaro. Not quite sure what the white one at the back is exactly. Could be some sort of Corvette-ish. Um, we've got another kind of LMP car, there's a Mercedes uh, CL, what's it called, a 911 there. Uh, there's a Formula 1 car, you know, if you want a Formula 1 car, there's an NSX, uh, we've got a McLaren F1, I think it's supposed to be like a Veyron with a big wing at the back, maybe a Di Tommaso, uh, possibly, uh, in the background, uh, we've got, I mean, a load of German cars here, Audi R8, Porsche, two Porsches, 917 and 959, not quite sure what the black and orange thing is, but it's cool, uh, <laughs> it's a Shelby, which we're gonna go, we're probably gonna go drive, you kind of get the idea, Celine panels, actually, you know what, shall we go drive the panels, why not, because that's often forgotten about, um, let's say, it doesn't, whoever you have sort of drive the car, it makes a huge amount of difference, but the vehicles have got their own, uh, traits, so you have, a uh, balanced car, so kind of good everywhere. You've got a vehicle, this one here is all about acceleration, you've got one that's all about top speed, you've got one about sliding around, which apparently is the panels. Let's go and drive the slidey, slidey panels. Now there is a manual gearbox option, honestly, I say it doesn't matter as such. Um, it matters off the start, once you've got going you're probably not really going to be using the gears uh, much because, well, this is the arcade, this is, I mean, this is your full tap break to drift around the corners. So if you keep the rev in the yellow range, you will all oh, end up in the back of a Formula 1 car, not the only one, somebody else ends up in the back of a uh, car of the start line. But uh, yeah, that's how it goes. And then we're in to the driver. Oh, that's supposed to be an Esprit. I think that's an Esprit going on over there. I know cars. Uh, yeah, so then we're in to the racing. Uh, it is the classic tap brake to drift. In fact, we could probably with this car here. Oh, it's very slidey. I mean, all the vehicles are have their own handling characteristics. This thing here is very slidey. Uh, you can probably like link all of these quarters together. Uh, it's not slower to be sliding around. That's around what you're supposed to be doing. And you build up your little boost meter you've got down at the bottom there. Uh, I'm going to try and save mine. Uh, we get a little bit bopped around. There is a time system again, akin to those old arcade racing games. Uh, where if you run out of time it is race over, although for a normal race like this one that's not such a concern. Uh, we are getting nudged around a fair bit by Victor over there, excuse me. Uh, I would rather you didn't do that. Uh oh! Oh! <laughs> We're gonna get cars into a... I mean, it's, it's full contact racing, shall we say, in this. Oh, we're gonna slide around the outside of everybody. Uh, I mean, I think there's, there's some AI catching going on. It's, it's gonna be hectic. It looks incredible, I gotta say. I love I love the circuits. All the circuits that I've driven around on here look absolutely fantastic. Uh, as I said, I like, you know, some different, you know, different sort of art style we got going on here. We, the game looks great and it's always going to look great. It's not going to age like uh, some other games. And it's fun to have this kind of style back. I mean, it even has, if you want to go for a full cockpit camera, it's kind of, ooh, it's a little bit wibbly sometimes from cockpit camera, but uh, you have all the look of a kind of a classic -y arcade game with, you know, your modern your modern features. Uh, like, if you want to drive from interior view, go for it. That's a whole bunch of different options. Ah, we can get bopped around, we can look behind and all of that. Ah, that's going to be a wall. I'm plank. Uh, <laughs> we've got to keep ourselves uh, vaguely close to this group. Now, you don't have to drive as slidey as I am. We're just driving this car that is a drifty vehicle uh, because... Oh, I mean, I might as well use the drifty bit to get the boost uh, for us. I mean, I'm gonna, oh, we fill up the boost, we're going to use a bar. I'm going to save three bars of boost for at least the madcap dash to the finish line. Always a good idea. I would say always a good idea. How I'm going to play this. Uh, <laughs> we're going to save boost because, for example, this is the final lap now. I just fire everything towards the finish line. 
and that would be good. We're going to go side by side towards turn one. They are, well, we're technically from four wide. Now we are four wide in the middle. We're four wide briefly. I just got a little slow on the exit there. Um, I mean, as far as the handling, the handling as it's go, this is very, very easy to pick up and, and play, and you'll very quickly feel familiar with it because it is. It's a tap break to drift. You're going to be flat out everywhere. I haven't come across a circuit yet where you can't be flat out everywhere with a little bit of uh, management of the sliding, shall we say. Uh, timing your boost is always important. Uh, whoa, and you can get yourself in a little bit of bother, uh, you know, going for the boost at the wrong moment. Oh, no, don't you bloody dare do that on the final corner. Christ. <laughs> Let's fire the boost, and that is going to be a victory for us. Uh, we get some money now, as you can see at the end of the race. A whole load of things have popped up. So, the racing is good. It's fast, frantic, arcade fun. Really, the cars are great to drive. Uh, you have a, lot, have a whale of a time. Everything's driving a bit differently, etc. Uh, now, not only, though, do we have this. Let's just go over the next circuit. So, that was a sea view. Let's go to the desert. Uh, ooh, Area 41. Yes, please. Uh, we'll go through that race. Sure, why not? Uh, every vehicle is quite highly customizable customizable sure let's go with that uh we're gonna go and drive uh shall we have a go with the mercedes looking thing i'm trying to figure out what that's supposed to be i feel like i should know it <laughs> uh, i don't know that's the oh i know the damn car it has a playstation livery is the one i'm thinking of I've seen it at Goodwood. I saw it at Goodwood this year. I can't remember it. Anyway, let's go jump and... Oh, wait. Modify. Here we go. Let's have a look. So, you can change the colour of these. There's a lot of colour options uh, around the place. Now, all of these are unlocked. Well, some of these are unlocked by achieving various feats in each of the vehicles. So, drift for 500 seconds. Uh, drift for 5 seconds in one go. Uh, all of that sort of stuff. Um, you have then got different sort of liveries if you want to go for those, and I guess they'll be mixed up with other palettes. You get custom bonnets. Now, some stuff can be bought with the money that you earn. With the money you seem to earn a fair decent chunk of money. We get 10 grand a race at the moment, so you'll be able to do plenty of customization and, and so on. It's just a nice little touch. I wasn't necessarily expecting big old customization on this game, but it's nice to have these options. It's nothing crazy so far, anyway, that I've seen. Nothing completely and utterly ridiculous, but it's nice to have these different options. So we've got, oh, look at that, we've got three support wing. Yes, yes, I like that. Uh, we can have some custom exhausts, and we can have, oh, we can have like little engine modifications going on there. Different headlights, uh, or rear lights going on. Uh, <laughs> and you have custom steering wheels. Oh, well, custom, I haven't seen the custom dashboards, actually. I guess the car I looked at before didn't have one you could, could do. It's, it's neat. It's a really fun little touches uh, that you don't necessarily... Oh, wow. Accessories. We can have danglies in the car if we so wish. Uh, <laughs> uh, or we can have bubble heads. Sure. Not that I'd ever... Not that I would ever have those in my car. You know what? Let's go drive the Merc here. Uh, or pretend. It's called the Fastback. Pretend Mercedes CLK GTR? I think I can never remember. <laughs> <laughs> Can never remember. Right, I haven't driven this circuit as of yet. Oh, that looks like a Supra over there. That's certainly, oh, certainly the back of a Supra. Uh, let's go through the gears. There we go. So this car's going to be very different to the drive that we saw in the in the panels, uh, in that we are probably not going to. Well, we don't have to be drifting around. Now, it's probably still going to be a good idea to go and acquire some boost with a little bit of drifting. Now, you can acquire boost by drafting. Oh, I think I put normal. I didn't change the difficulty of the AIs. Oh, damn it. I expected it to. <laughs> I thought it was going to hold the difficulty from last time. It didn't, sadly. Uh, you can get uh, boost from drafting behind opponents. You can slip through behind them. And I think I think you'll also get a little bit of, sort of speed by actually just doing the drafting. Uh, as you can see, this car is already very, very different. I and mean, this isn't a, sort of a, I say it's a balanced car. It's not a crazy grip car. But you already see when we go for the drifting, it is much quicker to kind of snap itself back in a straight line. It doesn't get so unhappy. Oh, that I might have overshot a little bit. That was on me. Oh, hello, Mike, with the Cobra. So we can sit in the slipstream. I think actually just go <laughs> we sat close enough. We got enough speed from that. We just went past. Kind of curious. Actually, go on, AI. Let's go have a little play, shall we? Uh, oh, uh, we're going to be a little bit over there. Right. Oh, there you go. You see, that's the, there's, there's the power of the slipstream as well. I apparently can't get the damn corner right, but... There we are. Not... I mean, actually, it's always effective as GTA 5. Ah, oh, is that supposed to be a Marshall Largo, perhaps? Ah, from the air, from the back, it makes... So, yeah, sometimes you just need to see the back of the car to see what they're trying to pretend to be. 
Look, we're all going to do it, okay? I know, <laughs> I know they're not real cars for licensing reasons. We're still going to go and play what is that supposed to be. Hell, we do that with every game. <laughs> um, we've got all full of boost at the moment. That's that's nice. Uh, I'm actually going to save it. To be fair, we can probably oh, ping ourselves out of here. So, no, I mean, this is a little bit more straightforward a circuit, shall we say. Um, yeah, there's a bit of down here. We'll just fire it. Uh, not quite as quick top end as some of the cars, although that's the part, I guess, you know, part of the point. Um, oh, we didn't get the drift. Oh, I guess we didn't get the drift for 20 seconds because we weren't really drifting. So I was showing a car that wasn't drifting. Well done, me. Uh, so there we go. That was a look at one of the desert circuits. Um, I think it was one of the more, sim more simple circuits, so to speak. Uh, look at the jungle. Uh, now I have driven around the dino dash. Yes, there are big old dinosaurs, big like animatronic dinosaurs. Ooh, where do we want to go? Royal Roadway? That looks fun. I mean, they all look fun. Let's face it. Uh, let's go here. Sure. Let's actually stick the difficulty up. And we are going to go and drive. Again, I haven't driven any of these cars. Let's have a go with some of her vehicles. Um, so, we've got the NSX. For the balanced. Much acceleration. Much speed, of course. Can't really drift. Or really, really drifty car. Uh, I, feel, I haven't actually driven one of the acceleration cars. Let's, let's have a look, see what we can do customization wise on it. Uh, I kind of want a crazy wing. I don't think I have any wings unlocked, though. No, I think you have to do stuff for the wing. Oh, look at that. That's a very Fowl Racing approved wing, if it's big old curved wing uh, <laughs> going on. Yes, definitely. That's not sacrilege at all on a uh, Japanese car such as this. Um, Right, let's go and have a go with this one. We might accidentally unlock some bits and pieces along the way if I happen to do whatever the challenge. There's so there's so many challenges for each of the cars. <laughs> there is so many challenges for each of the each of the vehicles. If you want to unlock everything, it's going to take a, a while. Oh, I'm just trying to spam through the gears. I'm not even sure I can go through the gears quick enough. Um, it's nice that there's a manual gearbox option. Honestly, as I said. Necessity, not really all that much. Not compared to, uh, say to some games, so you probably you won't use it really outside of the start. Uh, I will say, I, I love I love the tracks, I love the look of the circuits, they're good fun to drive. Uh, I would perhaps like something a, li a little bit more technically demanding, shall we say. Like this, ah, hello, we're going to be carted off towards the wall. Um, yeah, something where you had to maybe, uh, I know it's the style is kind of arcade racy stuff, but Something with maybe a little bit less than just full throttle uh, was required. Something a little bit more, a little bit more nasty, shall we say? Uh, ooh, hello. We're going to battle our way through on the inside. Don't mind me, Supra. We're going to ping off of you and get stuck between that car and the wall. Uh, we're going to slide our way. There's going to be a gap there. Ooh, I'm kind of curious. I think one of the cars I was driving earlier, top speed. I don't know, with the boost applied, this is still almost as quick as I was getting the other cars to go. I guess it's sort of the top speed it holds without the boost is lower than you'll get from, well, the speed cars. I think it's about anything can win around these if you drive it well enough. Uh, it'll be what suits your suits your driving. Um, with a, I said with a game like this, as weird as it is for me to say, the super grippy cars don't quite feel as natural. Like, I always you get used to having something like this. I mean, this is not bad sort of balance of a vehicle. You get used to being able to throw the cars around and certainly gaining the boost. You don't want to be throwing the cars around. Oh, hello. Thanks for that one. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so that's kind of a decent timing for the old, uh, for, for the old boost. Oh, high difficulty. The AIs are going to put up a fight. They are going to bump. They are going to nudge. This. I mean, we see the cars doing. They can kind of lift. Oh, look like lifted up at the side. A little, a little bit. <laughs> I don't think you can roll. I haven't come across a roll yet. Although if there is a way to roll a car. You damn well know that I'm going to be the one to find it. Uh, we're going to have to be ready for this. I mean, it's, we've got to be ready for the big slipstream pull. Oh, to the finish line. Might have to go fire the boost now before we get in trouble. Uh, <laughs> God, make sure we don't fall too far back. And this is why I save the boost in these. I always, always will save the boost towards the end of the race. Just to make sure. I have enough, so there's no AI cheesiness. We don't want any AI cheesiness going on here. Thank you very much. Uh, that'll be a victory. Ah, oh, we didn't get any. Oh, no, we got a new spoiler unlocked. Hey, so there you go. So then we've now we've got one of the wings we could put on the car, if we so wish. There's actually a uh, full uh, replay thing that we can that we can watch. Oh, which again, modern features on uh, 
it's all this classic game where you can change your cameras. Uh, let's see, we can go and watch some interior cameras. There's even a replay. I can pop a replay camera. Which is pretty damn neat. You know? <laughs> it's it's really fun. It is. It's one of these, your classic... Uh, how do I actually back out of this, though? That is a good question. There we go. Pause it, and then we can quit. Um, yeah. It is like your the classic arcade races outrun and that sort of style. Okay, I I can't remember all of the. See, I'm probably a little bit too young to remember a lot of the really old. I say a lot of the old sort of like traditional arcade games almost. Because um, yeah, I, I I guess kind of what was my early. I guess Colin McRae Rally was one of the first sort of uh, racing games that I that I played. And I was Screamer. I remember Screamer actually. I remember that being a thing. Yeah, I I can't remember what one I had. Gee, now we're really going for a. Let's go down all the memory lane. <laughs> Yeah, um, I remember Screamer, but yeah, I didn't play too many of this sort of style, uh, arcade, arcade races uh, as such, but yeah, it's, 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 fun. it's really good fun, I have to say. Uh, we're going to go drive, have we drift, well, we have driven one of the drift I, I, I kind of like the drift cars. Uh, let's have a go with, uh, with the Mongoose, sure, let's have a big old slide around with this one. Um, still trying to figure out. Why do I, I know? Oh, it's Kuntash, I guess, for that one. That's why I'm trying to figure out what that one is. That might be more Pantera. I don't know. We're going to go give it, we're gonna give it a try. We're going to stop trying to guess at all the cars. <laughs> we're going to have some fun in this, in this final race. We're just doing a single race. As I said, there is the, there is the Grand Prix mode, uh, sort of like little championships, if you will. There's also a couple of special game modes uh, as well that are still being a little bit worked on. This is some um, little early access that I've got here. Uh, we're going to smack our way through the gears. Woo! I spot a Toyota GT1 thing. Oh, there we go. So you can see with this car here how much we understeer compared to the previous vehicles. So we try to turn into a corner normally with this, we're just going to plow through it. Uh, so you've got to have a completely different driving style with this one, although we do get a, a good chunk of uh, boost, basically, with these. What a nice sort of snowy, interesting... Oh, God, we're going to weave around snowy interesting map. There's a dinosaur skeleton up in the wall. I feel like an archaeologist would probably have got that by now. Don't think they would leave that quite like that. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a gap across on the inside. Here we go. We're going to fire our boost, launch ourselves away. Well, there's another one flying past as well. Or oh, oh, we can crash into them. That also distinctly a possibility. Some more bumping along the way. Uh, okay, I mean, it's another. They're all incredibly pretty circuits. I have to say. But yeah, this art style won't be for everybody, I get that. However, I do like the games that try something a little bit different, and I think this is a fantastic looking one. Uh, it runs incredibly smoothly as well, of course, not crazy graphically intense necessarily, uh, but everything is just really well detailed and interesting. I just it's like it's a, a fun places to be driving around, because it's all a little bit wacky. You're going to notice things in the cedar. As I said, like the, okay, the skeletons are pretty obvious, but you're going to notice little things around the cedar and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that is really cool. Ah, thank you for that. Oh, well, I need you to get around the corner. You have just bopped me past. I'll take it. Uh, we're currently going to build up a little bit of boost. There's almost like, do I bother going too, driving too crazy far away in the distance? Maybe not, because they should have boost and catch up. Uh, so maybe we just sort of sit around here, save our boost, ready for that run to the finish line. Uh, oh, well, there's a little argy-bargy on our way through there. That'll do the trick. And now, oh, messed up that corner. Oh, try to save that. It's probably not a good idea trying to save a corner by <laughs> by boosting, although it does sort of work. It kind of pinged us forward enough. Let's get... Ah! Stop it. Uh, let's get back in the drop. I mean, this is a much... I say this is probably not the best circuit for a drifty car, because we've actually really got... Really many corners. One of the top speed cars would probably be in the way to go around here. Uh, oh, definitely some, some burnout manoeuvres going on right there. I saw that from the Mercia Lago, swiping across the back towards me. Uh, we've got one more lap after this. We've got the slipstream going on. Here, all the way through. Oh, there was a gap through the middle, which we made work. I will take that. Uh, we're just pinging off the limiter at the moment. Oh, we're going to get bopped all the way around the final corner. Hey, we didn't hit the wall on the outside. Got about a millimeter away from it, but we didn't hit the wall on the outside. Although we're about to hit the wall now, because we got served into the first corner. Uh, now would be a time to actually maybe use the gearbox. <laughs> So I'm so used to not actually having to worry about the gears in this. Uh, would have probably been the time. I might actually be in a bit of sneaky trouble here. Although they are having a big old squabble. So that kind of helps me out. Whoop. Hello. 
I have turned up. Bumblebee is here. Uh, Bumblebee is here, and he has one bar of boost, though, so Bumblebee is not going to do anything stupid uh, for now. There we go. There's the second one. That's what we need. Uh, where's the finish line? We've got to go down this next straight. We can sit in the draft, actually, all the way down here. Uh, hopefully, maybe get the next bar ready. One more corner to go for us. Uh, we're going to tip the car in, higher the boost, and it is going to be a victory in that one. Uh, hey, we got a new vehicle pallet unlocked for five seconds in one go. I was probably going to get the 22nd one, but there we have it. Um, as I said, not really the best second, actually, for the drifting car, because it's quite quick. Probably better, be better off a speed car. I'm sure, you know, as you go along, you will find uh, what cars work on, on different circuits and so on. Um, yeah. It is, I really, I really like this. It's really good. I said, it's a, that fun arcade -y. For proper full-on arcade racing game. There's multiplayer, uh, there is split screen as well, uh, which is always nice to see as an option. Um, I like the car customization. The car customization is fantastic. Uh, you can actually also customize the characters a little bit as well. Uh, you can get them wearing different stuff or, or un unlocking things as you go as well, if you wish. Uh, but yeah, lots and lots of customization uh, in here. Here's the Viper uh, looking thing. Did I unlock? I don't know if I unlocked anything with this. But, uh, yeah, you want some golf liveried style Viper? Go for it. I don't know if there's a black and orange car. I haven't come across... Well, actually, no, tell a lie. Of course I have. There's much Largo's black and orange. But, you know. <laughs> Where'd it go? Uh, oh, there it is. There is sort of some black and orange cars, if you if you so wish, etc. Which is always good. Um, blue and orange. Curious choice. Uh, I don't know if there's any, any black and orange stripe. Probably not. Uh, but, yeah. I did expect that level of customization. It's great fun to drive uh, on here. Really, really good fun to... Uh, just drive around the circuits and, and race. I would like perhaps a little bit more in terms of uh, technical circuits. Uh, while uh, the more technical circuits, I think the more fun they are to drive for me personally. Uh, but they could maybe be a little bit more in terms of really fiddly, really difficult to... Well, not difficult, but uh, yeah. Very fiddly circuits to try and, and weave the cars through. Um, but there we go. That's been a look at uh, Hot Shot Racing. I do very much recommend you check this out. Uh, when it is released, because it's something a little bit different, uh, sort of a nice throwback to those earlier arcade races. Really, really well made. Really, cars drive really well. Lots of little details. Uh, fantastic, fantastic looking game. So yeah, I recommend you give this uh, give this a look. That though is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.